Hi, I'm Zena Werb. I'm a professor uh, at the University of California, San Francisco, and I'm also the associate director for basic research in the Helen Diller Family Comprehensive Cancer Center. When I was a postdoc, I got interested in what are now called the matrix metalloproteinases. They're enzymes that turn over, degrade, uh, cleave the extracellular matrix. And in trying to uh, find out what these things uh, do, not just what their structure is and so on, I got interested in development because I thought, well, it would be really interesting to figure out how uh, the change in the microenvironment is involved in processes. I decided uh, that uh, it would be really useful uh, to look at uh, breast. And the advantage of breast is that, that the development occurs uh, postnatally, in fact, you know, starting with uh, puberty. And then once we'd found things that affected breast development, uh, I said, well, what changes when it becomes cancer? And so what I started to do in general was to ask how many processes in development are changed uh, uh, but are still there in cancer. So in other words, cancer wasn't a unique uh, set of rules, but it was an altered or, or a set of rules. And so that's how I got into cancer. The accomplishment that I'm most proud of is actually about 30 years old when I, and I literally mean I because I did these experiments because I couldn't convince anyone in my lab to do them, uh, found that the uh, there is signaling between the extracellular matrix and the cell, and it, it occurs through integrins. And that was the first time uh, that that had been shown. And that then influenced many, many things about how a cell talks to and is influenced uh, by its environment. The idea that, that, that you can do something outside the cell, the cancer cell, in a normal environment that's not gonna mutate constantly, uh, I think is uh, something that's exciting the whole field. And I see that going forward, maybe in 10 years time, we'll be able to have a much broader set of therapies that change uh, how your cell is communicating with this neighborhood. With the whole world getting older, cancer becomes an even bigger issue than it's been um, ever before. And we want to know how we can deal with it. We may not be able to cure cancer, but we should be able to make people live with it and die with it as opposed to die of it. And it's the research that's going to help us do that. <music>